Hey everybody, welcome back to Heartland Productions. Have you ever made pizza dough and you have this huge batch of dough but you really only want to make one or two pizzas? So what do you do? I have all this pizza dough but I really only want to make two pizzas and I don't want to waste it. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way how to freeze it and then I'll show you the results. It's amazing. It turns out just as good as when you make it fresh. So stay tuned. So I just got done making a big batch of dough and I have a lot of dough, but I have six dough balls left over. Like I mentioned, my normal dough recipe makes eight. I'm only gonna wanna make two pizzas tonight, so I have six left, six left over. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to freeze them. So the trick with freezing the dough is that you have to do it before they start rising and proofing. And here's a cheap way I like to do it. If you've ever gone to a restaurant and you've gotten sides of something or soup or something like that, these are to-go can, the, the these are the to-go containers that you normally get. These are just the disposable little cheap plastic ones. I keep these because they're actually the perfect size to put your dough in. So what I like to do is let's get six of these out. So you can do it two ways. You can just take the dough ball, again, make sure it's, you have it rolled up nice, put it in, you want the bottom in the bottom of the container. So just set it down in there gently. That's all you have to do. If you're not sure, you're afraid they're gonna stick, what you can also do is use some olive oil spray. You wanna make sure you get one that doesn't have a propellant or a bunch of additives in it. This is just pure olive oil. If you don't have this, you can just take a little bit of olive oil on a paper towel and just kind of gently brush it in there. I do that. And I also spray it on the lid just a little bit just to make sure it doesn't stick. And then I cover it up. And what I do is I actually, I put a little piece of tape on it and I put the date on it so I know when I froze it. Now I have six pizza dough balls ready. I'm gonna pop those in the freezer and they're gonna be ready to go. So the trick is when you thaw them is that about 24 hours before you wanna use them. So if you're gonna make pizza this weekend on Friday, on Thursday, take them out of the freezer, put them in the refrigerator to let them thaw inside the refrigerator overnight. So we've had our dough in the freezer. Um, we're gonna make pizza tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple out and let these thaw in the refrigerator overnight. Here's what they look like. Like I say, they're, this is what they look like frozen. Basically look like a snowball. I'm gonna take these out now and let these thaw overnight. Another trick is too, is that as soon as you take them out of the freezer, I like to go ahead and put them into my dough box or a tray, wherever you're gonna have them proof and rise. They pop right out, set the frozen dough balls right in there exactly where you would want them. So we're just doing three. The benefit of this is why they fall overnight that way you don't have to touch them. The less you touch them, the better. Because you don't want them, basically once they start rising, you don't wanna to have to touch them or move them or pick them up because you don't want any of the air to get disturbed because you want them to be nice and fluffy. So put the frozen dough balls in there, cover it up, and just place this right in the refrigerator overnight. And then after 24 hours in the refrigerator, they're gonna be nice and thawed out. Don't forget, if you haven't already right now, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button. The dough's been setting at room temperature for about three hours now. It should be ready. Let's look at it. They look good. They're all ready to go. Like always, the first thing I do is get my semolina ready. This will help. I like to put it in a bowl. That way I don't waste a lot of it. If I need more, I can add more, but I don't, this costs a lot, so I don't want to waste it. Basically from this point on, it's just like making normal pizza. I take a little of the semolina, sprinkle it around. This just makes it release easier. Kind of cut it away from the sides, get some of the flour underneath. Put it in the bowl, like that. I always put the top side down. I'm gonna close this back up for now. Move it out of the way. 
put my hand up underneath it. Then I sprinkle some of the semolina down. Put it back bottom side down. We're good to go. My kids requested pepperoni pizza tonight, so that's what I'll give them. Like I mentioned, the trick is you freeze the balls as soon as you make them, let them defrost overnight in the refrigerator. That ends up being the best result for me, or at least I found out that's the best result. And then, like I mentioned, take them out of the refrigerator about two to three hours, depending on how hot it is. The hotter it is, the less time they need to, to warm up. But this dough feels just like it is when you make it fresh. It's a little bit looser, but that's not a bad thing in this case. So we're just going to gently push down, get the air out of the middle to the sides. Pretty much done. Stretch it out a little bit. Get some of the excess flour out of the way. A little San Marzano tomato sauce. A little Parmesan. Pepperoni. Freshly cut, cut up mozzarella. I'm gonna spice it up a little tonight. If you haven't tried this, is great. This is basically like a salami paste, a spicy salami paste, induja. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. A little bit, because it when, this is basically really oily, so once it heats up, it spreads out. So just put little dollops, kind of spread them out. Again, this is a, it's, it's a little bit spicy, but not too bad. Kind of like red pepper flakes, basically. It has a little bit of depth of flavor. Now let's get it in the oven. Stretch it out just a little bit. If you want a perfect circle, this is the time to do it. Try to get it in the best circle possible. There we go. Let's get it in the oven. The oven's at about 870 degrees right now. The stone's around 855. Gonna let it sit for about 30 seconds. I like to warm my turning peel up a little bit. Helps it slide underneath, especially when it's kind of cold out. You don't want to turn it too early or you'll end up ripping the bottom. All right, we're going to turn it. Sometimes it's hard to do with a camera, microphone. Everything's cooking well. A little bit more done. Okay, it's been just a little bit over a minute. Let's take this out. Ooh, there we go. beautiful pizza like I mentioned just as good as in it when you make it fresh and this dough was frozen thawed it overnight look at that perfect dough looks perfect dough. bottom looking great too so it gives you a great option when you make a bunch of pizza dough and you're only gonna cook a couple pizzas don't forget to throw it in the freezer and it'll be ready for your next pizza party
Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I do this. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't had a chance yet, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. It really does help my channel a lot. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the notification bell also. Thanks again. See you next week.